Sequences, Series, and the Binomial Theorem, Chapter 2. First, we will just revise sequences and series from ordinary level. You will find this on page 42 in the new AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Sequences and series. Introduction. In ordinary level, we learned that the sequence is a list of numbers. Any time you write numbers in a list format, you are creating a sequence. The numbers may have been generated randomly, numbers obtained while tossing a die, or generated by a rule, the list of even numbers starting at 2, for example. Each number in the sequence is called a term. The three dots at the end of the sequence show that the list of numbers could go on indefinitely. For example, the sequence is infinite. Okay, two, four, six, eight, and then the three dots. Okay, however, if we wish to restrict it to a limited number of terms, we would we write two, four, six, eight, dot, 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 but only up to 20. The final single full stop shows that the sequence ends when the number 20 is reached. Such a sequence is said to be finite. Okay, so let's start with recognize arithmetic and geometric progressions. And this we also did in ordinary level. In an arithmetic sequence or progression, AP, successive terms are always formed by always adding or subtracting the same value to one term to get the next term. This number added to each term in an arithmetic sequence is called the common difference, D. Because if you subtract the values of any two consecutive numbers, you will always get the same answer. So, for example, if you look here, um, 2, 5, 8. 5 minus 2 is 3. 8 minus 5 is 3. 11 minus 8 is 3. Or negative 1 minus negative 3 is negative 4. Negative 5 minus minus negative 1 is negative 4. Or if, or they, they are both 8 bits. Since 3 and negative 4 respectively are added in each case. Note, adding negative 4 is the same as subtracting positive 4. It's meaning the same thing. So our AP, D, how do you get D, the common difference? You take the any term and you sub subtract the previous, the one in front of it. Okay, so you take the front one and you subtract the back one. Let's draw the side like that. So T3 minus T2 or T2 minus T1. In a geometric sequence or progression, successive terms are formed by multiplying or dividing one term by the same value to get the next term. This number by which each term in a geometrical sequence is multiplied is called the common ratio. So this is now GP. R, not D, but R. Because if you divide the value of any two consecutive terms, you will always get the same answer. Okay, so 2 divide 1 is 2, 4 divide 2 is 2, 8 divide 4 is 2, and then the same here. If you do this one, you will every time get a third. Okay, 27 divide 81, or 9 divide 27, or 3 divide 9. Are geometric since you multiply and divide by 2 and 3 respectively in each case. No, dividing by 3 is the same as multiplying by a third. Let's move on. Okay. Line of third. Now, in a GPR, so any term divide by the previous term. So n divide n minus 1. Or 3 divide 2, 2 divide 1. So this is just subtraction, this is just division. But we did it in ordinary level. Let's look at the basic, basic example. And this is usually where you start. If you just see a sequence, you will first determine if it's an AP or a GP. So determine whether the following sequence are arithmetic or geometric and find the common difference or the common ratio. So in this case, 
we are just going to do the test. So you can first just subtract and see if you get every time 9. If you divide, you will see it's not working. It's not giving you a common ratio. The same here. If you divide, you divide, you divide. And so if you look there, you divide, you get 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So this will be a GP. Okay. I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do, oh, it's just very basic. I want you to do number A as well as number, um, let's just see, number B. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's look at number A. Now, if you just look at it, you can say 6 minus 4, that's 2. 9 minus, it's 3, so it's definitely not an AP. But if you're then going to say this is A, and then you are going to say, okay, so let's test it now. It's 4, 6, 9, 13.5. So this is T1, T2, T3, T4. So if I'm saying, and it's going to so T2, let's just do T2, divide T1, equals T3, divide T2. So that will, if I do, so that 6 divided 4 is equal to 9 divided 6, because um, 2 can go in 3, can go in 2, 3 can go in 3, can go in 2. So therefore, it is a G P. Okay. Then if you look at number B, and you can always do it both, but I like first to write down the sequence. So if I look at number B, the sequence is 250, and it's 244, and it's 238. It's always first good to test for an AP. So if you look at this, so let's test for an AP. So it's T, no, let's just give it correct, T2 minus T1, and I'm just going to number it, this is T1, this is T2, this is T3, this is T4, so um, it's equal to T3 minus T2, so it's 244 minus 250, is equal to 238 minus 244. So therefore, if you subtract, you get negative 6 equals negative 6. So therefore, it is an IP. Okay, so this will be very important. First determine if it's an IP or a GP, and then you continue with the rules of IP and GP.